So in, if you look at the job market in the last few years, specifically in terms of Hadoop. Uh, so I will uh, limit my talk to Hadoop admin, uh, although there are a lot of uh, domains under Hadoop when we say Hadoop developers, the uh, Hadoop analytics, right, the statistics part, right, the data scientists, right, a lot of fields are there. But we are specifically talking about Hadoop admins. So the trend has been, uh, there, there, it, there has been high demand for Hadoop admin skills. But the number of people who are available in the market are very less. So what, what is the trend the companies follow? They try to groom the people who are within their organization. For example, let's say they might have a system admin team who are taking care of their, let's say, the Linux stack or uh, their uh, network devices. So they will groom them to be Hadoop admin because the transition will be uh, quite easy and your the learning curve, curve will not be steep, steep. Because if you are from a Hadoop, uh, from a system admin background, you will have good foundation in terms of operating system skills. So you can easily move on. So that's what the currently the companies are doing. So the skills which are mostly required for being a, a good Hadoop admin are based based on system admin skills. For example, you should you should have good troubleshooting skills. You should be able to understand what capacity is or what capacity planning is. Somebody if somebody says you I need 10 terabytes of processing ability. So you should be able to query or ask questions to the requester. When you say 10 terabyte, what does it mean? Do you want a retention of six months, one year? What will be the data size which will come at one time? What will be the memory you will be looking at one system? What will be the core CPU course you will be looking at one system? So you should understand capacity planning. So if you go at the OS level, a lot of things comes into the capacity side and performance side. For example, how many open file descriptors you should give? How many open sockets I can have? What is the number of inodes I can have on an ext3 or ext4 file system, right? All those things we should be aware of. Skills could be, one could use, let's say, yeah, so in when we say Hadoop admin, in Hadoop admin also there are there are subcategories. Let's say somebody is a DBA, right? He's an Oracle DBA or MySQL DBA. He he is not from let's say a typical system admin background. He does not know about the OS stack, but he he's really very good with his DBA skills. So what he can do is he can choose the DBA part on Hadoop which is like, let's say, HBase Hive. Hive is warehousing, HBase is a database, no SQL database, right? So he can go on to this. Somebody who is from a, a programming background, let's say scripting background, he can choose something like Pig. Who, who, all those who are from uh, algorithms background, right? Machine learning algorithms and all, they can use Mahout. So all these run on Hadoop. So they should be able to deploy Hadoop cluster, monitor them and scale them as required. They should have good knowledge of Linux, right? Although many of the, uh, what, what we have seen in our courses, many people who come in, they are not from Linux background. So we uh, have some very basic foundation for them, uh, like uh, they should be aware of how to at least navigate the Linux environment or how to at least install Linux, right? But having Linux skill is really, really very important. They should be familiar with open source tools like uh, Puppet, which you can use for auto deployment of your clusters. So one or two nodes is fine, right? We can man manage manually. I can log into each node. I can restart a service. I can do configuration manually. But let's say when I talk about 3,000 node cluster and I have 20, 25 clusters uh, of varying sizes from 800 nodes to 3,000 nodes, I cannot log into each of them manually. So I need some tool which can do configurations for me from w one central location. I should fire a command, it should configure my 3,000 node cluster. 
So we have tools like Puppet, Chef, Ansible, Salt, right? All those tools for doing that. You should be able to understand how Java works. All the Java programming is not required for being a Hadoop admin, but I'm uh, telling you from a, a real practical experience for, from production systems, many times what you will see, you are running a job tracker or a name node and it is consuming memory. It is spawning threads. So you need, you need to understand how Java works, how the gar garbage collection works, right? What are the areas of a garbage collection, right? What is young generation and all that in garbage collection, right? So you can better tune your systems. So when I say you should know Java, it does not mean you should know Java programming, but you should know how JVM work, how the heap size work, how the memory allocation is done, right? All those things. It's really good to have. So the typical responsibilities or day-to-day -day activities could be implementation, of Hadoop infrastructure, setting up of your Hadoop cluster, adding, removing nodes, replacing hardware, right? So when I say replacing hardware, it might not be that uh, Hadoop admin has to go and physically remove the disk because your data centers might be at remote, remote locations. So you have to take care of disk failures, how you will uh, do that, right? Uh, how, what policies you will set up. For example, by default in Hadoop data node, what happens, let's say I'm running a Hadoop data node with three disk drives. So the default behavior is even if a single drive fails, the entire data node goes down. So you have to take care that what will be the tolerance level of your data node. Can I to uh, have the tolerance to fail two drives, three drives, right? So all these things we, uh, we have to decide. You have to take care of backup recovery upgrades and patching as well, right? Patching might be at the OS level, it might be at the Hadoop level. You might need to upgrade Hadoop, right? Without loss of data, obviously, right? So I, I might be running a very big, large cluster with <clears throat> 10 petabytes of data. I need to do an upgrade. So how will I make sure I will have consistency? I will not have data loss. So when I say 10 petabytes, it's not that I will quickly do a backup somewhere of 10, uh, 10 petabytes, right? And do an upgrade. So backup plans, everything should be in place for a very long time. Because I might be doing, let's say, incremental backups, the deltas I'm doing, I'm doing snapshots, right? So that when the need be, it sh I should not be in a situation when, where I need to backup data, byte in, data in terms of petabyte. So I should be doing backup regularly. I should be doing a monitoring of my Hadoop cluster like maybe Nagios or Ganglia, and I should be able to deploy security.